implementation of how easy it is to put the system together. So what I'm showing here is actually a 32 watt color select driver and lumen select driver. In this case, because I'm operating with a 19 inch uh, color select module, it only pulls about 25 watts. And so uh, when I labeled the switches on here, which I did, I'll explain exactly how it's set up, but it'll give you an idea of what the power difference is in the lumen select, and then basically we'll talk about the color select switch. So in the lumen select switch itself, I put some little labels on here to give us an idea of what that power change is. And so the jump really goes from 25 watts at the maximum down to 22 and then down to 17 and then basically back up. For the color select side of, of this driver, we have three different jumps. And like Will mentioned before, because this is being matched up with our modules, the jumps are from 3,500, 4,000 and then 5,000 K. So there's the three different color selections. Now, the actual implementation for wiring and things is very, very simple for this driver. Basically, on the input, we basically have a neutral and a line wire, or a neutral and a hot. So those are both shown here, and that connection is made. The driver case itself is grounded, so the grounding can be done here with the case to the fixture itself, the luminaire itself. And then basically, out close to the input junction, which is where normally people have it, um, they'll put the grounding screw into the luminaire at that point. So I'm just showing here just simple junction block and showing those connections. On the output, the wiring is very simple. For the two different LED strings, we only use three wires. The way we do that is actually the red wire on here denotes a common positive. So this is the common positive for both LED strings for the warm white and the cool white. And the colors we chose for the other two strings is orange and blue. It's kind of because of the way we uh, designate the colors of the LEDs themselves. Uh, warmer white, kind of an orange or color LED, and then the cool white is a blue. So let's use the orange for the negative for the warm white LED string, and we use the blue for the negative of the cool white LED string. And on here, I also have a connection for a zero to 10 volt dimmer that's shown here. And I'll show you that it actually works. Uh, the dimming range for this, these drivers, specific drivers, is 100% down to 10%, just so you know that. Okay, now I'm just going to flip it over real quick and take the lens off. We're going to look at the LED module itself. So the LED module, if you look at it closely, you'll see that there's two different color LEDs that are basically interleaved one after another down the entire length of the LED module itself. The oranger colored ones are the warm white LEDs. Those are the 3500K, and there's some yellower colored ones. Those are actually the 5,000K LED, uh, LEDs that are in there. And those denote the two strings that are in the LED module itself. And this is the 19-inch version of that LED module. You can see it's very easy to mount the, the module itself. In this case, there's holes down the center of the module. Um, on the other modules that we have, the 22-inch and the 44-inch, you'll see that we have cutouts on the sides for them. So we have these scallops on the sides. This is a little different, unique module. This one has the mounting screws down the center. And again, over here, the, the mounting or the, the wiring for it is very simple. So you can see that the red wire is in the center of the LED module, and that's the comment for both the positives. And then you have the blue and orange wires corresponding to the cool white and the warm white. So that's how it's set up. So it's real, real simple to wire, real simple to put together. I'm just going to put the lens cover back on in a minute, and we're going to turn it on. Uh, I'll show you the rest. Okay. So I'm going to face it towards you a little bit. Uh, the reason for that is so we can see the transitions uh, when I make the different changes for the lumen levels and for the color levels. So I'm going to start with the lumen select switch. So right now it's set at 25 watts, and then we go down to 22 watts, and then down to 17 watts. You'll see those, those jumps, and then as we go from 17 to 22 to 25, then I'm going to make a big jump from 25 down to 17. And you can see it a little bit easier, and then the jump from 17 up to 25. So you can see... Those, those different power levels that exist. And you can kind of get an idea of the range from the fact that it goes from 25 down to 17. And that's pretty much the same for all of our different drivers. Now, of course, like Oscar told you too, and Will told you, we have a multitude of different drivers. So you have different lumen options that you can work with and different LED modules you can work with. So the driver selection allows, and the lumen and the module selection allows for a lot of different combinations. Now I'm just going to show you the, the difference in the CCT selection. So right now it's set at 3,500K. I'm going to trans transition from 3,500K to 4,000. 4,000 and then 5,000. So 5,000 down to 4,000, down to 3,500. And then I'm going to make a big jump from 3,500 to 5,000. And then from 5,000 back down to 3,500. So you go from that yellower color to blue and then blue back to yellower color. So that's pretty much the system itself. 
I can turn it up bright just to show you that it does work uh, full output. And I'll dim it back down. But that's pretty much the system itself. It's very easy to put together, very easy to implement. It gives you lots of lumen color selections to build any uh, system that you want. And uh, yeah, you can't get much simpler than this. Thanks for your time.